welcome to another weekend reading vlog. I asked you guys on Twitter if you wanted to see a reading vlog this weekend since I haven't done it since the Contemporary-a-thon mini vlog and y'all said yes which was surprising because usually I get a couple of people who say no you're annoying but this time around everybody who responded to the poll on Twitter said yes so either you guys are super bored in a self-isolation or you're starting to like me? question mark maybe we don't know i want to make this like a reading vlog for all my net galley arcs because i'm trying to get my ratio up to 80 percent i'm currently at 70 and then last night i got another email from penguin teen and they sent me another net galley widget thing so I haven't put it on to net galley yet so my ratio is still 70 i think i have about five or six arcs from penguin that i need to get through so i'm currently reading i can't show you the cover because like it's on a kobo but but it's they wish they were us by jessica goodman i'll like insert a picture of the cover but yeah i discovered that i can put books onto a kobo which is super exciting because i don't like holding books which is sad for a booktuber but my arms get really tired just like right now my arm is so tired which let me go on a little like tangent for a second i really really want to get a tripod for my iphone one that i can like wrap the arms onto like my bed if you guys can see my bed right there i want to get a tripod that i can like wrap the legs around so i don't have to hold my phone because my arm gets so freaking tired because i never shut up and it's like 10 minutes later of me just rambling in these clips you don't see that because i edit them down but like i said my arm gets tired so if you guys have any tripods for iphones that you know of that can like have bendy legs that you can wrap around things let me know down below because i really want to get one but i hate doing research myself so somebody help me back to what this vlog is actually supposed to be about i'm reading they wish they were us by jessica goodman like i said and i am 180 ish pages in which is apparently 71 percent read according to my kobo which is like really cool it's not my kobo it's my mom's kobo but she said i could use it because she doesn't really use it anyways it's like a murder mystery ya novel about this girl named jill newman who goes to gold coast prep and at this prep school there's like a secret society that only eight people per class get to be a part of and they're called the players basically if you're part of the players you get like access to this app that has all of the school's like test answers and like things like that and it's supposed to help you get perfect so you can get into like an ivy league school i don't understand the concept of this app because they constantly say that everybody knows that this is a thing and like they even have a table in the middle of the cafeteria that like shows that they're players so everybody knows it's a thing all the teachers know it's a thing and like why would all these teachers let them have this app with all the past tests like would they not be like I'm gonna change up my test from the previous year so that y'all can't cheat, you little motherfuckers. But apparently, no, that's not a thing. That's like my biggest complaint about this book. Anyways, um, the whole point of this book is that one of the players named Shayla is killed by her boyfriend, Graham. There's only six players in the senior class now instead of eight. So Graham gets sent to jail during their freshman year when Shayla died. They're all now seniors, so it's three years later. Rachel, who is Graham's sister, is like, yo, my brother didn't murder shayla and y'all need to help me clear his name and all of them are like no we can't help you clear the name because then like what actually happened that night will come out and we'll all get in trouble so you don't know as a reader what actually happened that night i'm assuming that one of them killed her not graham apparently he was like standing over her body covered in blood when the police came and that's why he got framed and like got sent to jail because he ended up saying yeah i did it because he was in the holding room for so long it's now three years later like i said and jill who's like the main character is saying okay fine i'll help won't tell the other five players that she's helping rachel because the other five players are like no we don't want to help get the fuck out rachel so that's like the storyline like i said i'm 180 pages in i don't know how i feel about it honestly i'm kind of annoyed with it just because of the whole app thing like it doesn't make sense to me because literally everybody knows and it's still a thing whatever i don't know who killed shayla i 
think I figured it out based off of events that happen. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you what those are unless you want to know. DM me on Twitter if you're interested, I guess. I think I have it figured out and I think I figured it out like 140 pages into it. So that's a little disappointing. It's only like a 255 page book or something, which I find weird because on Goodreads it says it's like 336, but on my Kobo it says 255. So I don't know what that's all about, but whatever. Um, This morning, as you saw, I was playing Animal Crossing because I've been up since six o'clock. I don't know why my body does this to me, but it does every single day. So I've been up since six, played Animal Crossing, did all my dailies and I listened to an audiobook. I listened to Crown of Feathers by Nikki Petro. Nikki Pau Preto. Nikki Pau Preto. Preto? I don't know how to say this author's name. I think it's Nikki Pau Preto. But I finished this today. Five out of five stars. I love it so much. And I have the um, sequel over there from Simon & Schuster, so I'm definitely going to be picking it up at some point. It's not a NetGalley arc though, so we can't do that today. If I finish that, it's like Phoenix Riding Sisters. It's hella good. Definitely recommend if you haven't picked it up. I'm pretty sure like everybody has loved the book who's read it. I don't think I've heard anybody say they didn't like it, so there's that. But I also, because I always have a audiobook and a physical copy going at the same time, started Given to the Sea by Minnie McGuinness. I'm only 10 pages in, so I don't really have anything to say about this. This was on my June TBR that my mom picked, so if you haven't watched that yet, definitely go check it out because my mom always picks my TBR for the month and she always has some weird theme to go along with it, so if you're wondering what the theme is, go watch the video. But I need to go eat because I am as hungry as a 12 year old boy who just hit puberty and discovered what food is so that needs to be done. I also have a couple of like chores that I need to do. I want to vacuum my room because it's really gross and then I also <laughs> have to hide this guy from my mom. We have this game during quarantine self-isolation where we take Al. We call him Al. He's a little gnome. We hide him around the house and we have to find him so my mom hid this in my laundry because I hid it in her laundry and I didn't think that she had found it and then I brought my laundry downstairs and he was in my laundry. So I have to go find a spot to hide him and hopefully it takes her longer than a couple hours to find him. We'll see though. But yeah, food, hiding Al, vacuum, and then we can get some reading done. I'll probably listen to my audiobook the whole time I'm doing that. But this is supposed to be a NetGalley ebook reading vlog, so... We're already failing with that challenge. It's 7.30 on Friday now, and I just have like no desire to keep reading this book. My theory was proven wrong. The guy who I thought committed the crime was let off, so clearly I don't know what's going on. And then this like new development happened, which again, I can't tell you because spoilers, but I'm just fed up with it right now. So I am going to listen to Given to the sea and I'm gonna play Animal Crossing because I feel like that's a better use of my time right now. I put up a poll on Twitter for like my next arc to read. There's four options that I gave. One's the kind of poison. I don't remember what any of these are by but I'll put up like pictures of them right there. The kind of poison, my eyes are up here, a wicked magic and there's another one that I can't remember what it's called. Oh, um, The Goddess and the Machine. So it's a 24 hour poll. So I have until tomorrow to finish this book before you guys tell me which one I should read next. Right now, I think A Wicked Magic is winning, which I'm pretty sure is like a Sabrina retelling kind of thing. There's a cat on the cover and it's purple. So I mean, I'm not gonna be mad if I get to read that one. But yeah, that's probably my next read. But as of now, I'm going to go play Animal Crossing, like I said, which means I'll see you tomorrow because knowing me, it's going to be like 11 o'clock by the time I finish playing because I have an addiction. Look, I'm a chef. Just sauteed some. How long some... did you put it in the microwave? <laughs> Three minutes. Thank you. But look how oh, good it looks. Goes. Okay, so it's now Saturday at like 12.30. I just 
ate some food because that's important but I finished my arc that I was reading they wish they were us I'm giving it a three out of five stars honestly I think it's more of a like 2.75 but since Goodreads says you can't do half and quarter star rankings and whatnot I'm bumping it up to a three I said that my theory wasn't correct which the theory that I was talking about wasn't correct but I had my original theory when I first started the book and I was talking to my mom about it and I had told her I bet you this person is the murderer but it would be like way too obvious if that person was the murderer so I'm gonna say it's not and then it ended up being that person so it was really annoying to me because like why are you making things so obvious you know like I read about 20 pages in and I knew that that was the person who was gonna be the murderer so that was frustrating but like I said in yesterday's clips I put up a poll on Twitter for my next read and you guys picked a wicked magic which I said was a Sabrina retelling which I am incorrect it's Sabrina the teenage witch meets the chase I've never read watched the chase I don't even know what it is but apparently it's a mashup of that it's about these like teenage witches who summon a demon one girl's boyfriend gets taken by this demon and then she discovers that he's actually being held in this like underground world kind of thing something like that I tried reading the synopsis and I'm still like a little hazy on it but I think that's the gist of it and then she has to get the help of the friend who summoned the demon in the first place the friendship broke up when the boyfriend went missing but now she needs her help so she's like yo come back and help me so they decide that they're going to free the boyfriend but then there's another new best friend who's also like magical in some way and it's like a huge magic fest so I have to read that um me and my mom are going to the bulk food store I don't know if you guys in America or anywhere else other than Canada has the bulk food store but it's basically just like a place with a lot of food <laughs> for like baking and stuff it's like flour and candy and you know that fun stuff but it's right beside the thrift store which recently just opened up which means there's gonna be a lot of books there because people have probably gotten rid of all the books that they were spring cleaning when they were stuck in quarantine so you know your world's gonna go check that out hopefully I pick up a couple books fingers crossed I also need to film a unhaul video before we go so that we can bring more books to the thrift store I'm having one of those days where I just like hate my face so it's gonna be an interesting time hopefully we can do something about that and uh, film a video and not hate life so I'm gonna go film that once my hair dries a little bit more and then off to the thrift store we go hello <laughs> we're on our way to the thrift store and to the bulk food store to buy chocolate it's the only reason we're going no there's a few other things we need 100% just to buy chocolate no Yes, it is. No. I'm really out of breath. I had to run and, that, and go. That running back into the house from the car is what killed you. I ran to go get my sunglasses because it's hella bright out. Right and now, this is as much exercise as I've gotten in two years. But yeah, we're gonna go buy books and chocolate. So the only two necessities of life. Oh, and a few other things at the bulk food store. Books and chocolate. I missed this place so much. Oh, it's so beautiful. and I know that I said that this was like a net galley e-arc reading vlog and I would only be reading e-arcs but I finished my audiobook so I finished Given to the Sea by Mindy McGinnis and I gave it a three out of five stars it was just a very average read for me I didn't really care about any of the characters or what happened to them it was honestly a little bit confusing and there was this big love square in it but it involved like adopted siblings and it would just no thank you I just wasn't here for it so yeah I gave it a three out of five stars because like the war aspect was kind of cool but the rest of it no thank you as for a wicked magic i got to page 44 last night and i think that's about chapter four in it i'm actually really liking it it's really interesting it's kind of just telling about the backstory and how johnny the boyfriend disappeared from this magical spell thing that they set. Basically, Liss, who is Johnny's girlfriend, is trying to get Dan to give her the book of magic that they used in order to cast this spell so that she can try to reverse the spell. But you need both people who cast the spell to like reverse the spell, I guess. So she's trying to like convince her to 
participate and that's as far as I've gotten. So remember when I said I was gonna read? I fell asleep instead. I did read a little bit before I fell asleep so I got to page 75 of the a wicked magic. I'm still enjoying it. It is taking a little while to get into the story. Like, we've found out about Johnny going missing, and then another girl just went missing. And I'm assuming it's from the same demon thing that took Johnny. We don't actually know yet, so I'm assuming that's where the story's going. But Dan is still refusing to help Liz, so I don't really know where that's going, but I... I'm actually gonna go read now. I'm just like really tired right now. TMI, I'm getting my period soon and anytime I get on my period the, like three days before, I'm exhausted and just want to do nothing but sleep. So we're at that stage of my cycle. So love that for me. But I'm either gonna read or nap. We don't really know. I guess you'll find out in the next clip. <laughs> <laughs> what? I have the receipt it's a for more. <laughs> get, get back here and stop. Claim your argument! They're fighting about We're whose Kobo feeding. it is. We're not fighting. Kay. It's my Kobo. It's not you. <laughs> no, who bought it? Mom says she bought it. Mm -hmm. Dad says he bought it. But the way to get rid of Dad is to turn on the camera. He runs away like a scared little animal. Could you please, could you please <laughs> explain this story? You bought it away. You didn't want to bring a whole bunch of books with you on a cruise. Yes. Yeah. I suggested that, yep. and we went out and got it. I bought it for you as a gift. Was it birthday, Christmas or something? That I... yeah. Wait till you see my birthday present that's coming from him. What the heck? What? Why does she get presents? I didn't get a birthday or a Christmas present Because I like year. her better than you. No, it's... Suck it. It's because he says he can't think of anything and I have to pick it. It just took me six months to pick it. Wow, you're indecisive. Wonder where I get it from. I'm not indecisive. I just didn't make the choice. That, then I stopped. He, what is that like no, the no, indecisive is not being able to make a choice. That's I, literally what you just. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I said I was gonna read, and uh, we're watching 90 Days Fiance instead. So vlog's gonna end now. Bye. Say bye. bye.